Okay, today's taping session is showing you what I do to unload a shoulder. Now, I'm going to use Kinesio tape with this because it's elastic and the elastic properties of this will help lift the shoulder up much better than rigid tape. Now, remember with rigid tape, we're trying to restrict joint range, that's something. This one, I'm trying to facilitate movement, so I want an elastic tape. Blue is today's flavor. With this one, I'll show you how to tape in the three directions that I do, from the back, the side, and the front, and show you what position that shot needs to be in to try and make sure that the taping is effective and take all the weight out of the shoulder um, and unload it effectively. Now I use this for things like subacromial bursitis, rotator cuff tears, AC joint problems, and anyone that just needs sort of weight out of their shoulder if they've got some sort of injury in their shoulder. So let's look at that in full detail. What you need, is kinesio tape. Now, with all kinesio tape, you've got to work out what percentages you're going to do to tape with, meaning how much stretch you're going to put on for this. It's quite a lot for this one because we've got to take the whole weight of the shoulder out. You've got to think about the shoulder itself is almost sitting there just in muscle suspension. The only attachment, bony attachment, joint attachment, really is the AC joint. So this muscle system here is what's keeping that shoulder position. We're going to sort of increase that and lift the whole shoulder up. So you're going to need quite a bit of tension on this, hence it needs to be elastic. First thing you're going to work out is how much tape do I need? Because you might go and measure her and you go, okay, I'm going to tape it like that. But you've got to think, yeah, but I'm also going to stretch it. So you can't tape as, you don't need that much tape from here to here, you need to go shorter. So I might look at that and go, okay, I'm going to use about four for her. And I need three of these because, like I said, I'm going to go from the middle, the front, and the back of her shoulder. And what those three will do is give her a sort of a suspension in all directions. So, what you want to do with all taping, round your little edges, and that'll stop them falling off, especially when they're going to put tops on, things like that, over top of this tape. You want to make sure that you are getting rid of any little bits that are going to peel off and annoy them. So that. Now, first thing you got to do is get that shoulder in the right position. We don't want it hanging down. Like the problem like is, is, is the hanging down part. And this is like important for people who've got upper trap problems here. We want to unload that shoulder. Also, we don't want this hanging down this position here. So you've got to think, I want this up. Okay, and I also want the shoulder back a bit here. So I'm sort of getting in the position where it's sort of totally unloaded. Now, you've got to tape this, so she's going to have to hold that. So what she's going to do is put her right hand underneath her elbow, like that. And so she's going to try and keep that shoulder in the position. Now, you sort of overdo it, because once you put the tape on, it'll stretch, and it'll sort of sit down in the position that you want. So you don't want to be level, okay, you want to be overcooked, up into elevation and retraction, so she sits up there, okay? First one, I'm gonna go through the middle. That's the easiest one to do. What you wanna start off with is start on the side, right down where that deltoid insertion is, okay? And you can usually see it on people, see that deltoid insertion. So you want the insertion point at zero tension, okay? Absolute zero there, because anchors always need to be zero, otherwise they pull off. And this one, you then come to grab the last bit, and I want this 100% up there. So you come right over the deltoid, over the AC joint, onto the trap, and you get it as close as you can to the insertion point, or that last bit anchor, and then put that last anchor down as zero. So you imagine this is all stretched 100% from there to there, that is zero, and that is zero in there. All right, so that's not a bad one. Let's take that bit off. So there's your first one. She's got to keep that up. She can't let that go. Can't let it get out of that position. I always tell people they're going to look like a bit of a footy player when they've had this all taped up. Because you'll see it looks very familiar to what you see on TV. Now, the front one, you go on a sort of like a 45 degree angle across that same anchor point. Okay, get that at zero. And then you're going to come around the front, get that stretch up to 100% around the front of the deltoid there, crossing over the trap, onto the corner of that scap, and then down over through the rhomboids into there. 
that position there. Okay, you want to basically cover over the scapula. You don't want to go from humerus just to scapula. You want to come past the scapula because you're going to access some of the muscle tissue and soft tissue on the other side of the scapula. And the last one, pretty simple stuff, is going to go from the back. It's almost the opposite of the first one. Sorry, the second one. So get that nice and flat. Like that. Always make sure those edges are nice and flat. <laughs> Zero there, and then you're going to come around, and you're going to come and think, I'm going to come across, rotate the cuff here, up to the top over here. So again, pull that out there, keep that up into there, up you go, right at the top. Now you could probably afford to go almost a little bit further with the taping if you want to. It just gets a little bit tricky going when you're crossing over, but you can probably afford those ones to go even further over. I would never go any shorter than that. So what you've got now is three bits of tape pulling up into that position. Now, if she lets that go, then what happens is the tension of the tape is holding her humerus up a little bit. It's also holding her scapula up a little bit. You feel that tension, yeah? And they feel really supported with that. Now, that's super helpful for people with a bit of impingement going on, like I said, maybe bursitis, maybe a bit of a rotator cuff tear, even those people who've got a bit of a drop shoulder, and that could be from a neck issue, that is sort of dragging down and giving them aching. It just takes the weight out of that shoulder, helps them recover a little bit faster, gets the exercises done. We find it super helpful. So that's how I do it. See you next time.